Team Ghana, let's hear it for them. Shoye Gurbani, Asidu Michelia, Yeboa Yuan Asua, Osapo Editi Samuel Bin Kawane. I was so scared, my heart was beating so fast. I was like, if I don't get this trophy, what happened to me? What happened to me? But luckily, today I got this champion trophy, all thanks to God. I am proud to be a Ghanaian, to be a. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandra and this is Sandra's Joyful Space. Ghana for yeah, de, de, yeah, de, de, yeah, de, de. Ghana has done it again and this time in fact I'm super proud of Ghana and I'm super happy for you all. So Ghana actually beat over 30 countries and won over 17 trophies in the recent international UC mass competition that was held in India. So if you are wondering what this competition is all about, it's a mass competition that actually not only tests the mathematical skills of, you know, the students or the participants, but also their, you know, concentration level, their visual memory, and generally their academic performance. And guys, let me not talk too much. Let me allow you to watch the video, then we'll come back and talk. Team Ghana, let's hear it for them. Bronze Cup winners, party chickens are Shoye Gurbani, Asidu Michelia, Yeboa Yuan Asua, Osapo Editi Samuel Bin Kawane. Ghana's red, yellow, and green soared high at the 31st edition of the UC Mass International Competition in India, competing against more than 6,000 young minds from 30 countries from 4 to 17 trophies in one year. That's the story of great growth and greatness. I'm from Ahmad Gildia from Ghana. Amata Gotslo Bubuli from Ghana. Ando Jason Naime from Ghana. Asamoa Dua Pauline from Ghana. Diboro Precious Akosua from Ghana. The four categories they competed in, A1, A2, B, and D, tested mental arithmetic. So guys, I brought you a good news. Yes, this is a good news. If you are living in Germany, UK, US, and you want to send money back home to your loved ones, your friends, your family, anyone back home, please do not look any further. Sendwave is the reliable way of sending money easy, fast, and quick back home to your loved ones, especially this Christmas season. So if you want to send money to your loved ones in Ghana, Nigeria, Kenya, Uganda, Cameroon, even the Philippines and other countries, all you have to do is just go to your Play Store or App Store, download the Sendwave app, and then register. Register using your email, your phone number, and after registration, just connect your bank account yes your bank account connect it to your sendwave app trust me it's reliable don't be scared yes connect it to your sendwave app and you can start sending money back home within minutes when i say within minutes i've used it it's trusted used by sandy and when i say within minutes it's within minutes and guys you can send money to all those countries i just listed and they have all the countries you can send money to on the app just choosing the country you are sending the money to putting the person's details if you want to send money to the person through mobile money you can do that or through the person's bank account you can also choose that option putting the person's details Fill everything, put in the amount you want to send to the person and start sending money. It is that simple. It is not difficult at all. There is more to the good news. If you want to get 10 euro off your first transaction, just use my promo code JOYFUL. Yes, I'll be putting it on the screen. Just type in JOYFUL as your code and you will get 10 euro off your first transaction. So please guys, hurry up and start sending money. Especially this season, please. <laughs> you don't want to be wasting time and your money will be angling for days, weeks, please. This one is within minutes. Metrics and Abaco skills to the limit. I was so scared. My heart was beating so fast. I was like, if I don't get this trophy, what happened to me? What happened to me? But luckily, today, I got this champion trophy, all thanks to God. I am proud to be a Ghanaian, to be a student of Rice and Montessori School, to make everyone proud that I got a trophy on my first time of an international competition. It's very exciting to do UC Mass, and it helps you to be a mathematician when you grow up. I won this trophy for my family, my country, and my school. 
Ghana's youngsters did not just compete, they conquered. Their greed was evident even on their grueling two day flight to India, where they continued to practice tirelessly. I even cried yesterday because I reached 184 over 200. I cried, I was not even able to eat, I was praying. The next day, when we checked, they told me that I found the competition. I was very excited and happy. I put a lot of hard work into it and I practiced about hundreds of papers to get this trophy. I also thank my siblings, my teachers, my friends for all the support they have given to me to come here to get this far. I couldn't have done this without all my supporters as well as my parents, my friends and my teachers. I would like to dedicate this trophy and everything to my parents and my instructor. Um, I'm proud to be a Ghanaian. I'm proud to be a Ghanaian. Thanks to everyone for helping us do it. We are bringing the trophies home. It's for Ghana. This year's success did not happen by chance. It was the result of a dedicated support system of trainers, parents, and the technical team at Moria Education Limited, the face of UC Mass in Ghana. The business development director, Roger Ohimi, received a special recognition on behalf of the institution for pushing the frontiers of UC Mass in Ghana. I give thanks to the technical team for the great and wonderful work they did. Last year was a lesson to us, though we did well, we came more prepared this year and we wanted to make Mother Ghana proud, of which the outcome is a clear indication of our achievements and our hard work over the period. The echoes of success may have faded at the UC Mass Arena, but for Team Ghana, the celebrations are just beginning as they return home and in a few days' time. Emmanuel Jivenu, New Delhi, India, Joy Pride. And my forevermore, hip hip hip, hooray! So guys, as you saw from the video, the kids were just so excited. Like, you could just see the excitement in their voice. They were so happy that, you know, their effort paid off. And guys, there's one thing I come to, you know, observe in Ghana or come to notice in Ghana. Whenever they are doing, you know, competitions like this, especially this uh, mass quiz they always do in Ghana every year, the way Ghanaians hype this mass quiz, I'm like, ah. This mass competition that they are doing, is it like you will see even grown-ups, I'm talking about grown-up people, hyping this competition, hyping, you know, their alma mater, pushing for them to win, saying, ah, Prem Prem is the best, this one is the best, they'll be calling different, different schools, you'll be saying, ah, like, in fact, people brag in Ghana based on their secondary school they attended so when they want to brag you talk about the secondary school you attended ah hey guys i find it so 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 interesting and refreshing because it's not something i'm used to we don't brag about secondary schools we went to where i'm coming from it's not like a thing 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 even though competitions is going on it's not something that is so talked about all over like it's one national football that is taking place but in ghana hey jai 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 master jai they will take it so high they will hype it they will talk about it in fact it will be the hottest topic in town so that's something i've just come to notice in ghana and that is one thing that i think it also encourages the kids who are you know participating in this competition to put more effort because they know that the whole country is watching a lot of people is invested interested in the competition and if they win they know that ah they will not just be rewarded but also appreciated a lot let me just give you a little bit about the competition so actually last year ghana went for the same competition this uc mass competition but they only won four trophies yeah they only won four trophies which yeah is not bad but they went back home and decided to say no this year we are coming back bigger hotter you know with all vim and they came back this year and won a whooping 17 trophies reading the news i saw where they said six of them won first runner-ups and nine of them won second runner-up which made ghana the country that won the highest number of trophies 
in the competition. So that was the hype because Ghana came to clear a whole whooping 17 trophies. Like it's not three, it's not four, it's not five, it's not six, it's not seven, 17 trophies. That is not like, it's, it's not a small feat. It means they came prepared. It means they came to, you know, uh -uh, to tell you that, ah, uh, clear road. Hey, and the examination, the questions were about 200 questions and you are to answer that 200 questions in eight minutes so 200 mathematics questions you are to answer them in what in eight minutes so it's also to test not just your mathematical skills but hey your ability to think fast act fast solve questions fast and all that and guys this is not a joke it's not a joke it's a great win for ghana a great win for the students and everyone involved and guys i'm just so happy i'm so excited when it comes to education ghana don't joke like they don't joke they don't joke. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. You have to, you have to experience it to, to see it. You have to experience it to understand what I'm saying. Ghana don't joke when it comes to education, when it comes to things like these. They put all effort, the young, the old, everyone. They put all effort. They show interest. They hype the participants. In fact, it, 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 it's, it's just beautiful to watch. It's beautiful to watch. And, and I'm so happy for the students who participate. And I pray that, you know, they will continue to win in every area of their life they will continue to you know shine forth and make ghana proud and i'm sure that it's not only ghana who is proud this is a win for all africa is a win for every one of us so we are proud in fact we join you people to celebrate and we share in the proudness and in everything so guys thank you for watching if you watch at this point please do not forget to hit the subscribe button like the video share the video and see you guys in the next one bye